APM. It is Agile Project uh, Management Framework. Again, this, by, uh, this was uh, designed by Jim Highsmith. Uh, the five phases which are there is Envision, uh, Envision, Speculate, Explore, Adapt, and Close. So what do you think what would Envision mean? Envision, Envision is nothing but visioning the project, defining the product vision, project vision. Yeah, the definition. Okay. So Envision. Okay. My envision would be, I want to have a Facebook. This is my envision. This is my vision. Now, speculate would be to design a high-level plan on how I would turn my vision into reality. Okay? Mm. Explore would be how? plan. Now convert my high-level plan to low-level plan. How would mm. I release it to my audience? How would I market it. It would be explore. Adaption would be based on the features I have completed. I am analyzing them. I am getting a feedback from a market. I am adapting it. So once you adapt, you go back to the speculate phase because there you would be again creating a high level plan for the feedback you have received because once you get a feedback, there could be that you need some changes in the upcoming features. Right? Once you adapt, once the complete cycle of explore, adapt, speculate is finished, you close the project. You have a sign off. Okay? So these are the five phases of APM. Envision, speculate, explore, adapt, and close. So uh, these are the definitions. Envision determines the product vision and scope the project community and how the team will work together. Speculate is nothing but develop the feature based release milestone iteration plan and to develop on the vision. Right? Explore is deliver the tested features in short frame constantly seeking to reduce the risk and uncertainty of the project. Adaption is the reviewing of the delivered results in the current situation. And close is conclude the project. Any doubts? So explore is the actual delivery happening there, is it? You are testing the actual delivered product, yes. So if I talk from a scrum perspective, my sprint review, my sprint is uh, my explore phase. My adaption phase is my sprint review meeting and my sprint retrospective. Right? So whatever I feedback I got in my re retrospective and my sprint review meeting, I am trying to implement in my next phase. Uh, in the next sprint. So when I plan, I go back to the speculate phase. So I have a sprint planning meeting, so I am speculating. Right? So in Explore, I am implementing the feature, I am testing it in the parallel, I am uh, delivering it. Got it? Yeah, so envisioning is the real project scope of... Uh, it's the product uh, vision. Designing. Product vision. Yeah, the product vision. Speculate is uh, yeah. yeah, the the high level plan for that. Uh, explore is yeah, the so product vision. Speculate would be the roadmap. The roadmap, exactly. And explore, as you okay. were saying, getting into it, uh, getting in, uh, doing a deep dive, probably the development and testing actually right. happening here. Then adapt, yeah. review. Yeah. So um, here I am actually, uh, you know, reviewing what I have developed and tested. Implementing. Implement. Yeah, the way I even the processes, the way I implemented it. Right. And closes. Uh, yeah, we are concluding. Okay. So sign uh, off. Uh, sign off. Yeah. So here, after this, the client is actually seeing the product. Complete product. So after close, you would not come back to any phase, right? You. It's just that project is over. You are done with the project. It's time to get rolled off. Right. Right. Okay. Super. Right. Yeah. Any other question? Okay. So this, this is a detailed explanation of vision. Uh, do you want me to go through it or you are good? I think it's okay. We can do a self study here. Yeah. So project data sheet. So project data sheet is nothing but where you define vision. So what would a vision, product vision have? 
why I need a project, why I need a particular product. So if I my product vision is to have Facebook, why I need product of Facebook? Because I want to socialize. For whom I need it? For end people, like for people, uh, for you and me, I need it, right? What is all that I want? Why? Why? What? After, if you and me are connecting, what would be the benefit, right? It will bring, it will reduce the distances between the people, right? Somebody who is in U.S. and somebody who is in India would reduce the difference. The why we are uploading the pics, you you don't feel you're far away, right? The benefit and the success and if if, uh, if this does not work what 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 is the alternative you would want okay I want my Facebook to have up, upload pictures okay if I'm not able to do that that what what is that you would an alternative that you would give maybe um, uh, sorry one of the could be that I can click on Facebook using and some app on Facebook and then share it but since that camera thing did not work, so I can just already click pick, I can upload it and share it. This could be the alternative to give that example. So project data sheet is nothing, but it will have your product vision, your vision statement, and the project scope. Okay. Uh, so this is just the list of things that you can business objectives, features, statement, project, who is the daily cost, capabilities, so this is how you can define your product vision and scope product data sheet. Okay, any questions? So this product vision, uh, these things are in all the frameworks, uh, I mean in Scrum, Lean, Kanban, Yes, yes, all them, all them. So when you start a project, so as I told you, if you don't know why this thing is being built, you would, uh, you would not. So if we, in, even in the traditional and agile method differences, we the first question, the first difference that was it, agile talks about why rather than how. So this product document, product data sheet, product vision will tell you why you need this product. It will help you think better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So if I give you an example of an employment site like Monster, okay, I want to have a Monster. I want to have why you need because I want that HR and jo the job seeker and the employer can connect with each other. They can have a easy big pool available for them. Right. Till the time I don't understand, I would not be able to even drive my acceptance criteria. Like if I have to, then if I don't know why you do you need it. And uh, one of my features says implement search functionality. I would just implement search functionality but would not think since HRs would also be logging, since job seeker would also be logging, then the search functionality for both the people would be different. Right? HR would need to have a download functionality as well with search. He's HR search for maybe content management system and he would have list of uh, people who have this uh, uh, domain and he should be able to view their resume and download it. But for job seeker, their download functionality is not needed because if he is looking for content man all his content management system, he is only looking for a view option functionality and apply functionality. Yeah. Right? So this is where if you don't know why, you would not be able to think of acceptance criteria on a broader way. It helps you define the personas. Okay. Hmm. 